Hello everyone, I'm doing a YouTube demonstration video for the Force Field Fire Guard Flame Retardant for Fabrics. They also make one for wood and other uh, solid objects, but um, I had to treat the carpets that I have on the walls in my business uh, with a flame retardant since the fabric is not uh, flame retardant. Um, I would have been looking everywhere for a demonstration video on YouTube, but I was unable to find one, so uh, I'm going to do a uh, short demonstration. Uh, I've got uh, two towels that I've put on the fence over there. One has uh, been treated with the force field flame guard or fire guard, excuse me. Uh, liquid flame retardant and the other one has been untreated um, the one that's been treated has uh, dried uh, it's been drying for a couple hours now so um, fabric feels about the same as the untreated uh, fabric so it doesn't seem to have had much of an effect for it but um, I'm going to uh, burn the one fabric that has been untreated and then attempt to burn the fabric that has been treated and uh, we'll see what happens. I picked this up from Granger for about $200 I believe. They a little over $200 per five gallon uh, bucket but they also sell it in small uh, smaller quantities as well. I think you can get it for, I think you can probably get a quart or uh, on, either way you can get it for uh, um, in, in smaller quantities uh, if, if, if you need that um, so we'll go over there and test the uh, we'll use a lighter and test it and see what results we get all right so I had to move out of my previous location over to another location because of the wind is uh, not cooperating so all right, like I said before uh, uh, the treated cloth feels similar to uh, the untreated cloth um, and it doesn't leave after it's dry it doesn't leave a smell I could not distinguish which one had been treated and which one hadn't been treated so uh, we're gonna go ahead and burn this candle and see what happens when we try to ignite this one So we're getting combustion. The untreated cloth is definitely burning. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not. But it's definitely burning. And we're gonna go ahead and put this out. All right, so we definitely got some burn from the untreated. So let's see what the uh, treated cloth is going to do. Okay, so the treated cloth is definitely smoldering it's turning black for sure but it's not catching Hmm. 
some after even leaving it on one spot for an extended period of time the cloth just blackens but as you can see it's not not catching Now, whenever I treated this cloth, when I treated this cloth, I didn't, I didn't soak it where it was dripping, or where it was, uh, you know, where it was. I could wring it out and stuff would come out. I just uh, dampened it, moistened it, uh, whatever you want to call it. I didn't, you know, I didn't douse it. I didn't dunk it. I didn't. You know, it's cooled off. It's not hot either. Um, uh, I just kind of sprayed it on there like I would do applying it to the fabric that it's on the wall. And it didn't, uh, you know, just s singed it. It didn't, you know, it didn't catch or burn no matter how long I held it on the spot. And even after I stomped the untreated cloth, it's still smoldering. And this one is not. So there you have it. Uh, we've got the treated and untreated cloth. This other one's still smoldering. I'm going to go fully extinguish it here in a minute. But just to get a nice up close view of it, it definitely blackened and burned and was actively burning. Even melted the cloth. And then. Here's the untreated, or excuse me, this is the treated cloth. You see all it did was just blacken, barely blackened the cloth. And each of these spots was held for an extended period of time before I took it off. So, there you have it. There's the force field fire guard flame retardant for fire fabrics. Or force field flame guard. Well, flame retardant for fabrics. Uh, try to say that five times. Um, again, I bought it from uh, Granger for about two hundred dollars for five gallons, and this is gonna make the uh, fire marshal happy. Thanks for watching, guys.